Hello! Welcome to my Factorio tutorial. I'm Catherine of Sky. Today's topic is about how to build solar panel grids uh, in the various stages of the game, kind of from the beginning of when you get them to uh, a point where you are wanting to make the large solar grids. The first thing you need, obviously, is uh, construction of solar panels and accumulators. You do not want to build these in your pocket. You would like to have uh, assemblers making them for you. You don't need speed modules. In this factory I just wanted to have a couple of machines and then I was like oh no there's not enough production so I put speed modules in but normally what I do uh, and have done in other factories is simply put four or six machines down of each type um, and then they would feed into a chest. These chests are limited to 1000 solar panels and accumulators each so it limits the production of them. Uh, they are linked to the chests but you can equally link them to the logistics network instead and just connect it this way and say um, if there are, and where did they go? There they are. Solar panels less than 1k uh, and that is linked with the logistics network which means it looks in all the boxes in the entire factory, all the storage boxes as well as this box here. So that is how you would limit them. Uh, I've added you know various parts the, the key thing is you can get solar panels when you have steel technology and of course we always have electronic circuits and copper plates you just need to research the technology accumulators are the batteries uh, so basically the solar panels generate electricity during the day uh, they have um, they generate less in the morning and evening oh we can't see it um, but they uh, they go to full power during the midday time period. At night, solar panels will not work, so you need to have accumulators to store that energy. Basically, they're like giant batteries, and they will produce at night when the solar panels go to sleep. When you have oil technology, that is when you can make the batteries that will go into the accumulators. So basically you cannot store the solar energy or any other energy until you have blue science. Okay, so let's pick up a few of these panels. Let's pick up four stacks of each. There we go. And we'll get four of these, three, four. And for this demonstration we will also need substations. So when you're starting out and basically just want to do a generalized small grid you can do that with medium electric poles and do something like this and basically this is a repeatable design. Let me just link that here and you do not need robots to do this and they're very easy to set up. You can just kind of go along like this and I don't know if that's the right amount sideways, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. And just like this. And so you have this repeatable design that you just need a single medium electric pole, and this is a tileable uh, amount of solar panels that you can put down. All right, let me delete this for a minute. And accumulators can be similarly organized. Let's see if I can get this going. Accumulators work really well with substations because of the amount of tiles that they cover. You can basically just go in a grid-like formation like this. Oops. And just walk back and forth and put them down. So that is how to create a tileable square of accumulators. When you get to end game, however, there is a very specific ratio that one can follow that has been calculated by people on the Factorio forums of how many accumulators per uh, solar panel that you actually need uh, in general to provide you with the you know proper ratio of power essentially. So I'm going to build that uh, magical setup for you and it does look quite complicated but when you have blueprints it makes it quite easy. 
So let's just get rid of some of these rocks here. And of course, if you don't have robots yet, you will have to just do it by hand. But that's okay. It's always good to start out in an untreed area. Another benefit of no trees is that you're saving the trees for reducing pollution. So let's start out with these substations and we just, oops, excuse me thing. Okay, we need to put down four substations. There we go. And let's see if I can, yeah, I can. There we go. That's much better. Oh, dear me. No, I was off by one tile. Let's do this again. There we go. They need to be at the limit kind of of their um, area of influence. Okay, let me delete this rock. Okay, so we have our four by four grid, 16 substations. So the next thing we're going to put down is a row of accumulators. And you can start with one below this guy and then go all the way across uh, and put one on the end as well. There we go, and they should fit exactly. Then these have a little surround. And don't worry, I will put this pattern in the, um, the description of the video so you can easily look this up. Also, I will link the forum post where these um, got figured out so that you know the reasoning behind doing this. Okay, so we have these little alcoves on the side, a substation surrounded by the accumulators. And now we'll start putting in the solar panels. So these guys just get tiled into this area here. All right, the next two rows is just complete solar panels. And basically these will fit exactly. They will fit within this. It's gonna be a square eventually. So if you're off, you need to just check what you've done internally. All right, let's go back to the accumulators again. And again, these are in like a little um, alcove here, like this. So these guys just have one on top and bottom. There we go. Oh, I forgot. Alcove on the edges. There we are. And again, with the solar panels here. By the way, you can use a cheat sheet. Have have uh, you know be tabbed out and, and look this up online while you're doing this. Okay, so let's uh, the next thing to do is build on the sides. We need to build two or four, I guess I should say, up, and then this one goes in between these two guys. All right, and we go here and just past this accumulator here and this will fill with solar panels very nicely okay great and then this is the tricky bit so we're going to again offset this and we're going to make a square in the middle that is uh, four wide so we're gonna make like a box in the middle here so make sure there are four wide spaces in there because guess what we're putting a robo port in Okay, great. So let's just mirror this. I will put these solar panels this way. All right. And here we go with this. Oops, that's not right. This has to be offset. Okay, so we have half a panel built, almost. What we need to do is to make this very easily, we just copy this stuff with the blueprint and even if you don't have robots, as long as you have blueprints, you can replace it. Okay, but there is one thing that is different. We need to get rid of four solar panels here. Oh my gosh, <laughs> they locked me in. Oh dear. <laughs> okay, we're going to get rid of this. Let me just escape for a minute. Uh, <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay, okay, there we have it lined up and get rid of these panels. And in there go four more or nine more accumulators. And I'm just placing ghost images with shift uh, so that the robots can just leap there and put them in. And there you have it. So after this, we need to take a blueprint of the entire structure. There we go. And you see how the robo ports connect? 
Uh, they will connect up to two tiles away. You can you can put them immediately adjacent to each other, but I do like the two spaces in between just so I can run in between. So you see there are red squares. That indicates um, trees or other obstacles underneath. Basically, uh, if you tried to click it, you can't. Um, but if you press shift, basically it makes all of those red X's and it will remove all of those trees underneath the blueprint and uh, just basically chop them down and start building for you. So anyway, this is not connected to the logistics network, though I could do so. Um, basically just make sure they are connected with the, the yellow, um, oh, that's not quite right. And there's one here. And that way they will get constructed at some point. I'll just build a quick thing there. And we need one more line there. Great. Okay. So these guys sh should start actually bringing stuff to this panel. Uh, what you can do with this. Oh, here they all come. Hello robots. Woohoo. Oh, oh, <laughs> they all went to charge. <laughs> okay. Never mind. Let them charge. Uh, what you can do, of course, is make gigantic solar grids, as you can see with the purple here. They are immense, and I have a lot of them. <laughs> but they're extremely useful because of the ratio I mentioned. So, anyway, that is how to make a solar grid. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching.